Respectful Interactions, Disability Language and Etiquette, was produced by the Northwest ADA Center at the University of Washington. This movie was produced by the Washington Department of Services for the Blind and is part one of one in the module, People Who Are Blind. The Department of Services for the Blind presents Blindsided, a day in the life of a person who is blind. This video does not intend to comment on the adaptive skills of blind individuals, nor focus on how someone who is blind would solve the minor inconveniences being presented in this film. It does focus on the environmental situations and uses situational comedy to make people aware of simple courtesies that would make anyone's day a little better. This is the city. The city has many stories and myths. Let's spend a little time. Let's consider some of those stories and some of those myths and decide what is real and what is not? What number are you? 58. Great, great. Excuse me, sir. I couldn't help but notice. Are you, are you blind? Uh, well, yeah, I guess you say I'm Have you, like, always been blind, or yeah. did it happen recently, or, I mean... Like your whole life? No, I'm just curious. Like it just struck me, like when I saw you, like how easy my life is, and it kind of made me wonder, like how you get through the day and everything. Can you see me? Can you see me right here or over here? Like, are you totally blind? Like oh, your whole range of vision or just right in front? Yeah. I mean, is that even safe? Should you be standing by the street? This world is crazy. Although I guess like maybe like your ears and stuff, that probably helps, right? If I snap like, oh man, you do have good hearing, don't you? Like, like a superhero? Superhero? Like, like you told me hmm. that is amazing. Look over there. It's Super Hearing Man! What bus was that? What, what bus, what uh, bus was that? That was the 7. Man, that was my bus. Oh, I'm so. Oh my god, I gotta catch my bus. It's nice to meet you. Bye. Yeah, okay. Thanks. <laughs> now, let's take a look at these myths when they don't exist. It's like us, right? Like it's never there. Dude, what kind of hat is that? I, mean, I like that hat. Well, then, that was interesting. <laughs> and in fact, pretty ordinary, don't you think? Let's see what we've learned here, shall we? Like how easy my life is, and it kind of made me wonder, like how you get through the day. And One, are the lives of people that are blind just as fulfilling as those that are not blind? Yes or no? Can you see me right here or over here? Like, are you totally blind? Two, does being blind mean totally blind? Or is it a spectrum of vision with varying degrees of perception? Yes or no? I mean, is that even safe? Should you be standing by the street? Three, are employees that are blind just as safe in the workplace as other employees? Yes or no? Although I guess like maybe like your ears and stuff, that probably helps, right? If I snap like, oh man, you do have good hearing, don't you? Four, if someone loses the use of one sense, for example, sight, do they fine tune the use of other senses to assist them to interpret the environment? Yes or no? So if you answered yes to all four questions, you are out of the myth and stereotype zone. And speaking of myths, some may not realize, and it's true, that people that are blind are in the workplace. So let's look at some things that would make the workplace, well, more inclusive. First, how many times have you forgotten someone's name? Well, until you saw their face. Oh, and by the way, can we move this from uh, from this Friday to the following Friday? Sure, we can do that, and I can... Um... Morning, Lisa. Oh, hey, Mark. Good morning. How are you? Oh, all right. Hey, Mark. 
Hi. I wonder who that was. Until you're told otherwise, maybe you should just eh, go ahead and say your name. Hey, Mark. It's Sean. Oh, Sean. How are you doing? Now, that seemed to work a little bit better, didn't it? Now, how many times has this happened to you? So, I just typed up this file that I think we're going to be able to use for the meeting. Oh, I really wait, think this is going to... Oh, is that Aaron? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's me, Aaron. Oh, Aaron, I'll give it sorry. Okay, what, no, what were you saying? Oh, I was just saying that I typed up a document that, that we can use that oh. sort of lays out the budget. And Part of what I did, I got some information from Lisa that actually plugs in really, really well. You know what, I actually have uh, Lisa's file back in my office, I think. And did you have the file? Because they actually, when she, when she gets it, when we work with her files, or say, for example, in, in uh, this, let me turn the screen so you can see it better. If we can change just some of these in just a fraction of a percentage, we take some of these numbers and just strategically reorient this entire uh, concept around what, how you make a profit in a company, it'll actually change the entire profit picture. I mean, we could probably do 200%. I'm excited, so I hope you are. What do you think, Aaron? Do you think that, I mean, what's your opinion? Aaron? Aaron? Huh, interesting. Um, so if someone says their name when they're entering a room or lets someone know when they're leaving, it's actually more inclusive. Oh, let's see how that might work. Hey, Mark, it's Aaron. You got a second to talk? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you stopped by. For yeah. So, okay. Uh, so, actually got a chance to put together some of the budget reports for the meeting today. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Those reports will actually help support the, the process as well. The only thing I really don't have are Cindy's was working on some real specific budget items. You know what? Yeah. Cindy actually emailed me those this afternoon, and I got a chance to look them over. Wish I had. I, you know what? I could uh, probably actually go forward them to you right now if you'd like. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, let me go do that. Cool. Okay, I'll catch you at the meeting. Mark. Right, thanks, Aaron. Did you notice how Aaron was considerate by letting Mark know he was entering or leaving his office? Huh. Well, that seems like it could be really important information. Have you ever played musical chairs? It's fun when you're a kid. However, in an inclusive workplace, well, maybe it's not the best game to play. What do you think? All right, gentlemen, let's get rolling. So, FTE, did you get those files up there? I wrote it and I tried to print it out, but I kept getting that PC load letter error that we've been having with uh, Minolta. Okay, so seriously, we need to do something about that problem. Perhaps in an inclusive workplace, it's really just over here. Oh, hey, Mark, we're over here. We were just talking about the FTP reports that he uploaded oh, yesterday. Right. Oh, were you able to get those okay, Mark? Morning, gentlemen, let's get rolling. Today's discussion, gentlemen. Just consider that this is this is pretty important to us, but not the most important. So between one, two, and three, which do you see as being? So, now, which I don't know which one you're talking about. Uh, the smaller one we're not going to be so worried about, but the larger one we're going to spend more time. What is on. that one? Oh, I'm sorry. The larger box was the man managerial type of accounting. All right. All right. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Why truly are we putting so much energy on what is number three here when it could be number one? But Large. the financial department also right. needs some and focus. I mean, we can't that. just stick with taxes here. We really, this is ridiculous. I have no idea where there is. Where is here? Where is there? Why not number two? Look here and tell me why not number two. <sighs> so, where is here? So now, of the three other types of accounting that we'll be dealing with, we have tax at the bottom, nonprofit accounting in the middle, and managerial at the top. That being the most important for us is managerial accounting. Oh, now I know where here is. Let's look at some other ways to access information. Okay, what about the status reports that you were making last week? Oh, right here. Oh, <laughs> look at all that paper. Now, what are some alternative ways to access this information? Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Great, thanks. Oh, great, thanks, Mark. Fantastic. Yes, Braille and other technologies are a way to use alternative formats in the workplace. Oh, and don't forget computer screen readers and enlargement programs. Now that, to me, looks like an inclusive workplace. You know, inclusion isn't just about information. It's about being comfortable.
about you being comfortable. Hey, Mark. Uh, so nice to meet you. Oh, great. Is that Brad? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's finally good to see you in person here. Uh, good to meet you. Yeah. Um, right. uh -huh. Well, <laughs> that didn't seem very comfortable. Would it feel differently if... Hi, Mark. Oh. This is Brad. I've got my hand out. Oh, Brad, good. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, good to meet you. It's so nice to talk to you finally in person. Yes, it's yeah. very good to meet you in person as well. I'm glad we're going to be working together. Oh. Now, this seems like it'll be a good working relationship. Now, did you notice how Brad gave Mark some visual information? I've got my hand out. Oh, Brad, good. And you know, I bet Brad is a lot more comfortable now. Now, don't think it's all one-sided just about you. Like most things in life, sometimes it just pays for everyone to have a sense of humor. Man. <laughs> oh, you know what? At least I paid for the coffee. Often, well, people think it would be really great if there was this, well, kind of rule book that would help you know if you're doing the right thing with someone who is blind or low vision, especially if you're working in customer service and want to make sure it's a positive experience. Let's see if we can take a look at a couple of courtesies that might be helpful for everyone. Remember, it all starts with you being comfortable. Has anyone ever asked you for directions? Hi, sir. Oh, hi. hi. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm here to meet some uh, colleagues for lunch. But uh, first of all, I really need to use the bathroom. Oh, okay. Bathroom yeah, is. it's it's right over there, and you want to go um, down the ramp, and you'll take a right. Okay. Wait a minute. It, over where? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, just like right over here where the bar is. Okay. Right over there. Down the ramp to the right. Okay. Okay. Sometimes when you give directions, it might need a little more detail. Especially if there's hmm, an emergency. Sure, yes. If you go to your left, about five feet or so, okay. um, you're going to reach in the bar. You'll just take a right. All right. Okay. You're going to go up a ramp. All right. All right. When you get to that ramp, at the end of the ramp, there's a small hallway. Okay. It'll be right there on your left. The hallway? Okay. Yeah. You're going to go down that hallway, and it's the last door on the right. Oh, great. That'll work. Now tell me, would this work for you? What can I get started for you? Um, could I get like a, a mocha almond uh, latte? Sure. Uh, probably like medium or something? Sure, we don't have medium, but our sizes are right here in front of you. Um, oh, um, over to your left. With our... Now that could have been handled differently. Well, let's see how this would work. Uh, can I get like a mocha almond latte, like a medium size? If you don't have medium, I have a tall size, which is uh, 12 ounces, and I'll let you see what, how yeah. big that one is. The next size up is a grande, which is 16 that's ounces. That's good. That works. Ah, that's the right size. Now let's take a look at another customer service exchange, shall we? So that'll be 460. All right, out of the 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just have some change coming back. Oh, yeah, it's right here on the counter, right in front of you. I bet she really wanted to do it this way. Okay, the 20. So, Mark, it was 16 40 back. So I have it. I'll give it to you in your oh. hand right here. So there's 40 cents, and then 5, 10, 15, and 16. Right. Okay. Right. Well, she seemed pretty comfortable, didn't she? Now, speaking of comfort, is it ever really comfortable having a hot spotlight forced on you? Hmm. I wonder if Paul is here yet. Mark! Paula? Mark! Paula? Mark? Paula? Marco? Polo? You know, with good customer service, there can be <laughs> far less production. Can I help you? Uh, you know what? I was supposed to meet someone here for coffee, and I was trying to... Hey, Mark, I'm over here. That's what I'm supposed to meet. Would you like any guy just to the table? Yes. No. Hey, yeah, would you mind? Go ahead and grab my arm. Oh, great. Thank you. 
Mr. Chair, right, correctly. Hi, Mark. Hey, hey Paula, how are you doing? <laughs> Aha! Somebody has been to customer service training. And he did seem pretty comfortable with sighted guide techniques, didn't he? And here are some other ideas when it comes to courteous customer service. So, you think you want my signature. Janet, do you want to give it a try? Okay, sure. Um, I'd say go farther down. Um, and not that far, yeah, almost. It's sort of at the bottom of the page. Maybe, oh, no. So, uh, maybe indent just a little bit, like indent. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, little bit further. further. Warmer, warmer. Further. Good, right. good. Up. Now, right there, now, right there, right now, there. sign it now. Okay. Farther down, just a little further bit farther down. down. Okay. okay, there right you there. go. Yeah. Right. Good. good job. <laughs> now, that was really uncomfortable. Uh, could you feel the tension? No, Janet, do uh, you want to do that again? Oh, sure. So, right down there. Right there. Yep. Using a signature guide can be as easy as using a credit or debit card. And it can be much less stressful. Oh yeah, and uh, one more very important point. Remember who you're talking to. Are you ready to order? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 might okay. as well. So, um, what will he be having? <laughs> I don't know, why don't you ask him? <laughs> Do we really need to say more? We almost forgot the most important courtesy, and this one should be easy to remember. Just think ADA. It's not what you think. Here, I got you. What do you do? This is oh, hey, no. Just trust me. Just relax. Hey, hey stop it. All right, oh, so what is wrong with this picture? Ha, huh. well, we really need to rewind this one. Hey, nice day. Oh, yeah, great day. Beautiful. Uh, would you like some help across the street? Oh, no, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Ask, don't assume. This is one story of the many stories this city holds. From this story, you can dispel some myths and realize what is real and what is not. The experience of common courtesy enriches all of our stories.